Hey guys. Hey guys, Wally here. I'm not sure if this is working. I'm having some problems with Google, but I'll do a quick pickup video, show you some of my recent finds. Went to a um, church sale yesterday, a um, estate sale, and then a flea market. Um, first thing was I down at the uh, flea market. I spent a whole whopping dollar on a Miller Lite Milwaukee Brewers lap. It cost me two bucks to get in. I only spent a dollar. Nothing else really there. <laughs> and at the church sale, I got this uh, Fisher Price. You can see that arts and crafts kit for a dollar fifty, and I think that's probably worth like ten, fifteen dollars maybe. And I got this uh, Canon EOS Rebel TI um, camera with the flash in the bag for ten dollars. Probably not worth more than twenty, thirty, forty bucks, but I would think for cameras, I like to pick those up. Then let's see here. I've got six um, Seattle Center ashtrays. They're all different colors. Those were a quarter for all six. Um, got a little uh, Chicago Bear ceramic mug for uh, 50 cents. Probably sell that for two, three bucks. And I've got a um, was it David Douglas little coffee thing here. For some reason these sell pretty well, um, at least in my booth. Got that for a dollar, probably put like ten, fifteen dollars on that. Um, let's see, then I've got a couple little belt buckles here. I've got a Cobra CB radio, fifty cents. Um, I think those usually sell in the five, ten dollar range. And I've got a Meister beer buckle. Um, those I'd say in the ten, twenty dollar range, those fifty cents also. And let's see, then we've got a, uh, let's see, Betty Selby is the artist here for this. Uh, I paid a dollar for that. I've seen a lot of these um, in the 10 to 20, 25 dollar range. And let's see, then I've got a little cast iron rooster napkin slash letter holder. That was a dollar. I'm thinking maybe five, ten bucks on that. Um, and we've got a little syrup container. These sell really well. Kitchen stuff's pretty hot in my booth, so uh, that was 75 cents. I'll probably put like five, six bucks on that. Then let's see, I've got this little wet your whistle mug. For some weird reason, I find these all the time. They're pretty common, but um, just a little novelty souvenir thing that I think that people pick up when they're traveling. And um, you know, I put like five, six bucks on them in my booth and sell quite a few of them. It's like, um, it's got a little whistle in it. <laughs> so, let your whistle. Then, let's see, I've got a Big Ben alarm clock. That was 50 cents. So, I do pretty good with those, too. People like clocks, I guess. And then, let's see, this one, I don't know. I thought I had this in a previous video, but I must not have. It's a uh, Kellen Winslow autographed football. It's uh, caring for kids. There was a, it's a um, Wilson football. They have a um, uh, series of clinics that they put on every year here, and then you know they have like a, um, a dinner where everybody can go and meet the athletes and get autographs and that kind of thing. So um, I got this at a garage sale a couple months ago for two bucks, but I thought I showed that in a previous video, but I don't think I did now that I look back on a couple. And then we got a couple board games here. I got Shake Up. It was sealed, but it's all torn, so um, that was a dollar. Uh, I don't know what those go for. I'm thinking maybe five, ten bucks. And then um, I got spare time bowling, the dice game. That was seventy-five cents. These were all at the other than the football. These were all at the uh, church sale. And then oops, got this enamel, enamel pot. It's actually in pretty good shape. I usually see these rubs on them that are like just massive. But uh, this one's in pretty good shape. That was uh, two fifty, and um, I'm thinking ten, fifteen bucks. And let's see what else we have. Got a deck of uh, let's see, Charles Gorin autograph series bridge cards for a quarter. I think maybe five bucks. If I'm lucky. Um, and I do really good with these these uh, Old West DVDs. Uh, that was a quarter. 
I'm thinking maybe like three dollars, something like that. And um, let's see, I got a Care Bears lunchbox. That was a quarter, but it's got like red marker on here. Um, if I'm careful, I can usually get that off. That kind of marker. It's not like a real, you know, like a sharpie permanent. It's just kind of like um. I don't know. You can remove it. I usually use like a goo gun to take that off. So never know it was there. And let's see. Then I got a little box of cameras here. A little shoe box. Just a miscellaneous. This a little. I don't know what this one is. Oh, a little Kodak camera. I can't really see it. That was fifty cents. Um, Kodak disc camera. That was a quarter. It was a. Little Minolta. This is a little higher end than the, the cheaper Kodak ones, but I don't know what that one goes for. I'd have to check it out. I don't come across the Minoltas very often. Uh, that was a dollar. The case, and it's got the little manual inside. Um, let's see. And we've got a little Nikon Fun Touch um, for a dollar. And let's see. Another Nikon. A nice touch. That was a dollar as well. Um, some of these are, you know, they're a lot more modern than what I usually pick up, but I can usually.